Okay, this is it. Halo 2, the biggest Xbox game of the year. We have multiplayer, Halo history, and our review of Halo 2. Prepare for shock and awe. It's game time. Please welcome two people who'd rather be playing Halo 2 right now, Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. It's not because of you, it's just because the game's better than people. Hello and welcome to this special Halo 2 edition of X-Play. Yes, this is the biggest <laughs> Xbox game of the year, possibly the biggest game of the year. I can barely get it out. <laughs> it's here, and later in the show we have a review of Halo 2. But that's just the beginning. Now the first Halo was the best-selling Xbox game ever, and now Bungie, Halo's developers, are set to break their own sales record. And we'll tell you why by showing you everything you ever wanted to know about the multiplayer in Halo 2. Plus, we'll investigate the games that led up to the creation of Halo 2. And we'll show you all the very special things we learned from the Halo series. But we kicked things off by totally spoiling the end of the first Halo. Yes. If you haven't beaten the game by now, you never will. Nope. Or you have a PS2. And if you didn't beat it on Legendary mode, then you haven't seen everything yet. But, well, you will, because we're going to show it to you right now. Ow. The final moments of Halo. To stop the Covenant Armada and prevent the release of the Flood upon an unsuspecting galaxy, you must destroy the Ring World. You fight your way through your crashed ship, then it's a simple matter of setting off a chain reaction in the fusion drive and getting the hell out. We have six minutes before the fusion drive's detonate. We need to evac now. Or not so simple. Yeah, Halo, perhaps the greatest console shooter ever, ends with a driving level. You have to drive the crappy-ass Warthog all the way through the ship, avoiding hordes of enemies and about a hundred poorly placed columns. Frozzle, frozzle columns. Make it through, and you are rewarded with this ending cutscene. make it scanning just dust and echoes we're all that's left we did what we had to do for earth an entire covenant armada obliterated and the flood we had no choice Halo, it's finished no i think we're just getting started Hold me, Morgan. Nice try, but the show isn't going to blow up. At least I hope not. Anyway, the first Halo sets up the events in the sequel, but what came before Halo numero uno? We'll show you what we took a look back at what Bungie was doing in the years before Halo took over every Xbox in America, like the flood. <laughs> in the beginning, there was Pathways into Darkness. Bungie's first foray into first-person shooting was also the first original FPS on the Mac, and it was revolutionary. Uh. Stop laughing. It was 1993, and Pathways had paved the way for the game that put Bungie on the proverbial map. Marathon was like nothing anyone had seen before in any first-person shooter, let alone one on the Mac. It was 3D. It had a complex and interesting story told through the use of computer terminals. 
it had a really tiny display window. You play as a mysteriously powerful security officer trying to eradicate the four aliens who invade your space station, the Marathon. The massive popularity of Marathon gave way to Marathon 2, Durandal, named after the rampant AI who kidnaps you at the end of the first game. Marathon 2 introduces many of the gameplay elements that would eventually find their way into the Halo games. The nameless hero can dual wield weapons more effectively now. And you're assisted by soldiers called Bob. Ah! Halo fans may recognize much of their chatter. Get me out of here. Marathon 2 had real 3D environments, more intelligent enemies, the first swimming sequences in an FPS, and big green sewer monsters that fling poo. Thus far, there has been no poo flinging in the Halo series, but hope springs eternal. Finally, Marathon Infinity, an inscrutable finale that takes you through multiple timelines, realities, and reveals with a fair amount of certainty that the hero of the trilogy is indeed the last of 10 Majolner cyborgs stashed on the Marathon when it left Mars hundreds of years prior. It would be five years before Bungie would return to deep space running gun warfare. Huh, look familiar? Halo hit the Xbox with the force of an orbital bombardment. The Hero Master Chief is a Spartan cyborg sporting the latest in Majolner combat armor. Huh, slightly familiar resemblance there. It was a long road to Microsoft console. Halo began life on the Mac, migrated to the PC, and was originally a third-person shooter with, shall we say, less than pretty environments. The massive success of Halo catapulted Bungie into the industry spotlight, and the rest, as they say, is an endless string of sequels. And maybe poo flinging, we hope. Oh, yes, we can only hope for photorealistic poo flinging yeah. in a future Halo game. Yeah, except it's totally gross. It is? Yes. You know, if you watched that Pathways into Darkness footage and thought, wow, that looks like crap, chances are you were born in the 90s. Because back when that came out, we thought it was beautiful. Yes, and how those giant brown frogs made, made chicken noises. They haunted our nightmares. I guess that is a little embarrassing. Yeah, it is. Coming up, we give you more Halo 2. Once again, two people whose covenant broke a long time ago, Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Welcome back to this all Halo 2 edition of X-Play. And later we have a review of Halo 2, but let's be honest, not everyone has an Xbox. Actually, a lot of people don't. <laughs> so, and not everyone can play Halo 2. And of course, the PlayStation 2 owners do have Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And the GameCube owners, they, um, well, they used to have a Resident Evil 4 exclusive. Oh, those lucky guys. Yeah. yeah, sorry about that, Cubers. Anyway, we thought we'd put together this educational film to help mm. non-Xbox owners cope with not having Halo 2. Hi there. This is X-Play's favorite human help desk in this office quadrant, Dr. Friendly, here to dispense advice like so many pills at an unlicensed pharmacy. Today, we're going to talk about Timmy. Timmy owns an Xbox. Timmy has had trouble from his friends. I have so many RPGs, driving games, and platformers on my PS2 that I can't count them all because I get confused after seven. Oh, there's nothing like having the masterpieces of Zelda, Mario, and Metroid to play over and over, discovering ever more subtle nuances with every bountiful experience. And by the way, how was Grabbed by the Ghoulies? But he knew how to stand up to such exquisite excoriation. Well, Halo 2 is coming out sometime. But now, sometime is this time, Timmy. Halo 2 is here. Ha ha! Look at me having the time of my life. Now you'll get him. Man, all you do in this game is, is run around and, and shoot stuff. Yeah, and beast through rules. Uh-oh, guys. Looks like the words didn't hurt. And you're all out of sticks and stones. How can you hide the pain? Try curling up with your GameCube network adapter and dream of the possibilities. Metroid Prime Online Co-op. Come here, my sweet love. Or just pop in Gran Turismo 4. Ooh, that's right. Sorry. PS2 rocks. Well, Timmy, aren't you excited to keep playing the game that has all the other console buddies verdant with envy? Actually, Mr. Sessler, I just want you to let me go home. Eventually, Timmy. Eventually. 
Wow, the end of that educational reel implied that you're holding an intern hostage in your basement. And that's a little creepy. Implied? <clears throat> I just do it so I can get away with saying it puts the controller in the basket or it gets the hose again. Oh, I like baskets. <clears throat> now, some people think the game's featuring as much chaos and carnage as Halo or teaching today's youth inappropriate and violent behavior. Well, shut up, people! Because Halo teaches kids important life lessons, too. Like these ones that came to us from G4TV.com's Dina Wood. Today in Halo, I learned to take a nap. <gasps> to always be aware of your surroundings. <laughs> to share everything. Hey, guys. Hey, Timmy. To never hey, hit my friends. Dude. To always oh, wow. watch out for traffic. In his hands, he got the whole and to never take things that don't belong to me. <laughs> Thanks, Halo. I love you. See, games Aww. can teach peace, love, and understanding. That's right. And commercials can teach us that products like the Bedazzler and the Flovey are an essential part of our lives. Let's watch some together. Oh, yeah, and later in the show, we have our Halo 2 review. Flovey. Insurance. Flovey. Oh, wow. Bosley. Coming up. I'm the leader. The multiplayer madness of Halo 2. <laughs> one is master, one is chief. It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Mm. Being the master has really disturbing connotations. I wouldn't know. Hello and welcome back to this special All Halo 2 edition of X-Play. Yes, the biggest Xbox game of the year is here, and we're bringing you the first part of our two-part review. It's a two-parter. Later in the show, we'll review Halo 2's single-player campaign, but this game is so huge that we had to cover the multiplayer separately, and Halo isn't Halo without the multiplayer. So prepare to go online, because we're going to give you an inside look at the multiplayer madness of Halo 2. Madness? Madness. Halo's single player mode was good. But everyone knows that the thrill of planting the butt of their gun squarely in their friend's forehead in multiplayer is what kept the disc spinning in their Xbox three years after its release. First things first. Halo 2's multiplayer is on Xbox Live and supports up to 16 players. It also features all the latest Xbox Live functionality, like plans. The 11 available maps run the gamut from tight confines that facilitate a lot of combat to wide open areas that force you to plant your butt in one of the game's several vehicles. Of course, the old standby, the Warthog Return. You can also pilot the Banshee, which was not playable in the first Halo. The Ultra Quick Ghost can seem a bit unbalanced at times, especially in open areas. That is, until you master the biggest change to the gameplay for Halo 2. We know you love the Grand Theft Auto. Apparently, Bungie knows it too. Taking a nod from Rockstar's monster franchise, you can now jack other players for their vehicles. Take that! This changes the game in incredible ways and can make gameplay seem like a ping pong match at the meth clinic. Watch this move as we jump onto the Banshee in midair, jack the poor sap, and throw him down into the abyss. Now that's sweet. There are seven game types with enough customization to tweak it to your liking. Assault is brand new and plays much like Counter-Strike. Oddball has you playing Keep Away with a skull. Juggernaut is like playing tag where one person is hunted by all the other players. Territories has you capturing and holding particular parts of the level. Territory lost. And requires a lot of teamwork. Then you have the typical Slayer, King of the Hill, and Capture the Flag modes. What we believe will be the most popular is Team Slayer, 
It's simple, team-based, and more fun than scratching a dog and watching his leg kick. With medals awarded for special achievements, jump pads, vehicles out the yin-yang, and stats galore, Halo 2's multiplayer is no joke. Kicking people and stealing their vehicles never gets old. No, it doesn't. Not here, not at GTA. And with the replay value the multiplayer brings to Halo 2, this might be the only Xbox game you need to buy this year, because you will spend hundreds of hours playing it. Of course, you probably won't even start on the multiplayer until you finish the single-player campaign. We have our review of that coming up next. Once again, two people who know Halo said backwards is Ola, Adam Sessler, and Morgan Webb. Ola. And welcome back to this special All Halo 2 episode of X Play. We have returned with a review of the biggest Xbox game of the year. Yes, the moment we have all been waiting for. And waiting for, because it was delayed a couple of times. Yeah. It's here now. Hey. Here's a review of Halo 2. 30 seconds out. Stand by to. The big green hunk of metal and tubing that is Halo's Master Chief is a bit of a video game character anomaly. For a break, he flew pretty good. You see, the Chief wouldn't be caught dead in a spandex jumpsuit. Tell that to the Covenant. Chief also takes substance over style, and so does Halo 2, with frenetic gameplay that will leave you breathless. Could we possibly make any more noise? I guess so. Master Chief thought he had finished off the Covenant when he blew Halo with the shards. When you first saw Halo, were you blinded by its majesty? No, but I ended up with a wicked case of hairy palms. Master Chief returns to Earth a hero. You are nice. Thank you. For the Covenant commander held directly responsible for Halo's destruction, things aren't so hot. After taking his licks, he sent on a suicide mission to stop the Chief. And, oh yeah, the Covenant have discovered Earth's location. They're not happy. Dear humanity, we regret being alien bastards. We regret coming to Earth. And we most definitely regret the core just blew off our raggedy ass fleet. Hoorah! The fundamentals of warfare are still in place. You have a limited number of weapons you can carry. Grenades are mapped to the left trigger. Taking out alien scum with a butt of your gun is still one of the most satisfying things in all of video games. You can now carry a gun in each hand. And it's fun to just mix and match to find the best results for each enemy type. This complicates tossing grenades, but we got over it pretty quickly. Another important addition is the ability to jack vehicles at any time. It makes some parts of the game seem like Grand Theft Auto crossed with a giraffe on roller skates. Many of the old weapons have been revamped, like the Needler, which is no longer worthless. There are also some new ones like the ever-powerful Energy Sword. With smarter allies, new enemies, new weapons, an incredible gameplay, Halo 2's campaign is a dozen hours of eye-blistering, synapse-searing bliss. But what we love most about the Halo series is that Master Chief is just some dude in a spacesuit that spits out corny one-liners. Master Chief, defend this station. Yes, sir. I need a weapon. Right this way. It's funny how an excellent game like Halo 2 can make that seem all right. Just about everyone will find something to like about Halo 2. Well, except for maybe the ladies. Oh, I know what the ladies like. All right, maybe they'll like it too. We give it a solid five out of five. Ladies like armor plating. Microsoft is predicting that first day sales of Halo 2 will hit $100 million. $100 million by the end of today. It's because Bill Gates, he needs more money. Sorry, Paul. Bye-bye. Go play Halo 2 now. Go. Shoot.